Oh, I met him years ago. Years ago. Uh, uh, Norman, uh, I've known him for 40 years and um, admired him from the very beginning. It was a revelation, literally a revelation, with Willis Faber. Um, that was the first one I remember, I think. And then the Sainsbury Centre in uh, East Anglia. And um, then, of course, um, there was Hong Kong, which was an enormous breakthrough globally. Um, because, you know, we're, we're very, very odd in this country. We don't recognize our great artists immediately. It takes a long time for the landscape of memory to kick in and um, recognize that we have truly a, a truly outstanding artist. So I think Norman's um, decision to, um, and to go abroad, as it were, to look at a wider audience, uh, and particularly the building in Hong Kong, uh, was a very wise one, very shrewd one. Uh, and it set him on the path that we all know so well. There are very, very good architects in the world, excellent architects, but Norman is always, um, I think he's the number one. You know, it's, it's, it, it, is a way, it is when you see something as good as Norman's architecture, particularly when he's designing himself, uh, it is quite extraordinary. But I think Milau, the village of Milau, is uh, just, uh, the, uh, it's just one of the most extraordinary structures that I've ever seen. Because you see, it, 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 um, it's difficult to describe. It's so beautiful because it is a combination of architecture and engineering. In other words, uh, the science and the arts coming together in perfect harmony. It says that the spaces between buildings are as important as the buildings themselves. It's one of the things it says. And Norman has that. Um, and that is what distinguishes the very, very great architect from the very, very good architect. The way that um, it's a way of editing everything that is um, superfluous, editing it uh, and creating a space that has a presence of its own. That's what it's all about. So it comes down to that proposition. Beauty is a splendor of truth, whether it's the Maison Carré, or whether it's the Milau, or whether it's uh, 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 the uh, Reichstag, or whatever it is, whatever uh, Norman does. His touch is so incredible, and it's that extraordinary feeling that you get, uh, that I get, when I look at great art. And, um, in particular Norman. There should be a balance, obviously. Um, there should be a balance because, you see, the fact is that most of the great buildings in this country are those that received most hostility when they were built. And so it's interesting to me because um, it shows that um, it takes a long, long time for, the, for people to accept the new. And I think that it's not really new, it's just a reinterpretation of something that's gone on long before, uh, but has been, has evolved, 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 and then it, is, um, it, it takes a different form. I think it's very important. For the future of the city, uh, not just architect architecture, of course, because it's the most visible of all the arts. I mean, you can buy a, a ticket for a concert, a musical concert, and you decide you, you don't want to go or you can't go. But you cannot escape from architecture. It's, it's surrounding us everywhere we go. 
And um, therefore I think that architecture is extremely important.